When working in WordPress, you need to choose the right hosting platform. WP Engine is an excellent choice. In Australia, XWP has worked with WP Engine for major radio networks, finance, education, and charities. Tonight, I have the pleasure of speaking with WP Engine's VP of Sales of Asia Pacific, Mark Randall. Coming to you live from the virtual WordPress theater, this is the XWP Tonight Show. Great to be here, Amit. Thanks for having me and thanks for the kind words. For those that don't know, what exactly is a website host? Like, why does a site need a managed hosting provider? I guess at a basic level, a uh, web host provides the infrastructure to power your websites. So, for example, you know, the data center, the server and the network, those types of things. Managed hosting providers go further than that, and they'll also deploy, manage and support the operating system and sometimes the application layers as well. And, you know, hosting providers offer different service levels for different needs. So in the same way that when you want to eat a pizza, you can choose to dine out or order delivery, heat a pre-made me pizza at home or, or buy the ingredients and make it from scratch. You have the same choices with hosting in terms of the type of service and the level of management that you require. So one mistake, I guess, that people make frequently is assuming that a website is set and forget when it's very rarely that. Websites are in a constant state of change. Uh, due to so you know as a result of that constant management of security performance and availability is critical specifically on wordpress you know xwp and wp engine you know both of our companies clearly market to the world with a focus on wordpress um, in your opinion wouldn't it make more sense business sense i guess to host sites uh, built on all cms's why does wp engine choose this um, specific and, and narrow focus Another great question. And, you know, look, there are a lot of non-specialist generic hosting providers out there in the market who support hundreds of different applications on their platform. And, you know, that's fine for a basic web host, but you can't really provide support management or expertise at the application layer across hundreds of different apps, right? It's, it's just not possible that that amount of expertise uh, at the scale to support it 24 seven, you know, just is not you know, viable for any organization. So, you know, by supporting lots of applications, you know, you limit the amount of support that you can provide on, on any of them. Um, you also reduce your product and R&D uh, investment focus, right? So, you know, in our case, we've been able to invest you know, hundreds of thousands of man hours in trying to build the best platform for WordPress. And if we were trying to build a platform for something else as well, or another five or 10 things, yeah, that would have reduced the amount of expertise and focus that's gone into that. So, you know, it is, um, you know, a choice that we've made and it's a conscious choice that we've made. And, you know, we've chosen specialize and try and be the best at, at WordPress, which we believe we are. And, you know, we feel if we supported other applications, we would have to compromise on that. What I really like is that I find that XWP and WP Engine have a uh, clear alignment, you know, like we're aligned with our, our focus and our attention to the way that we approach our customers. And I really see it as a great partnership um, with the two organizations. Um, I know that like we meet fortnightly, we discuss our customers, our prospects, and we want to ensure that we're providing a great experience to them. Um, what importance do you place on the long-term business partnership or, you know, is the word partnership um, just an overused cliche term? Well, of course, I mean, we really value and appreciate our partnership with with XWP. And, you know, some of the best projects we've worked on have been, you know, in partnership with with yourselves, with Nova Entertainment and Bartercard being two, two great examples. I think more generally in terms of partnership, you know, the problem with them occurs when they're taken for granted. And, you know, unfortunately, that's human nature to an extent. It's why a lot of relationships uh, fail and don't work out. So the way I see partnerships is that you have to continue to earn them all the time, you know, every day, every week, every month. And, you know, I believe that WP Engine's core values are, are very compatible with healthy partnerships uh, because we value things like, you know, doing the right thing. We value being customer inspired. Uh, we value being built for growth and we value being committed to give back. So those values are things that we try and take into our, our partner uh, relationships. But, you know, hopefully we, we never end up in the position where we take uh, any of our partnerships for granted. What I really appreciate about it is that to our customer, to our joint customer, we're giving them, whilst we're two separate organizations, we're giving them that uh, synchronized engagement, you know, so that they're not feeling like they're 
uh, dealing with two separate organizations with different views who are going to point at each other when there's issues. Um, you know, and you, you mentioned uh, Nova and, and Vatacard, great customers that, you know, we've often discussed about different things that they're trying to achieve and how can we both support them? How can we both assist them in what they're trying to get to? With each one of these, with each one of our, our example customer sites, we're always uh, wanting them to feel like they're dealing with people who are working collaboratively together, which I really appreciate. Yeah, likewise, likewise. Um, on the technology front, um, really as technology changes and improves, science will need to stay on top of their game to continue meeting user expectations. In your view, what are the big changes that you see coming to the tech world? And in what ways are WP Engine looking to grapple with those changes? Well, um, forecasts are fought with risk, of course. So uh, you have to be a little bit wary when, when making them. But I think, and you know, to that point, right, none of us would have imagined in January last year what would happen you know, in the world in, in 2020. And that in itself has had huge knock-on impacts on you know, the world of digital and, and technology. Um, but we do have some insights, fortunately. Uh, in fact, for the last three years, we've commissioned uh, independent research on future digital expectations. And we've carried this out in each of our core markets being US, UK and Australia. And what we're seeing is, you know, a few things, but, you know, in particular, the youngest generation, Gen Z, is, is really driving the digital agenda. And they have extremely high expectations of brands and for their digital experiences. And this is important because they're about to become the biggest generation of consumers, um, as well as the biggest component of the workforce. Um, and as you would imagine, you know, this generation expects things like voice recognition, AI and predictive personalization to play a key role in their future digital experiences. And they also expect content to be regularly updated and to be entertained. You know, every other generation apart from Gen Z sees the internet as being somewhere they go for information. Gen Z sees it as being somewhere they go to be entertained. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of challenges in solving for these expectations for, you know, marketers and technologists, and they're going to have to work together in ways in which maybe they haven't worked, you know, as effectively together before to, to solve some of these. But overall, you know, we think these trends are positive for WordPress, and we think they're positive for WP Engine because, you know, WordPress is the most agile CMS. It's the easiest to use for content creators that are looking to create entertaining content and keep it regularly updated. Um, and, you know, it's definitely the easiest to integrate with other systems in order to solve the data challenges around things like predictive personalization. So, you know, this is obviously some of the reasons why WordPress has, has grown, you know, its market share to just under 40% of the, of the web now. Um, but, you know, as a result of these trends and the research that we've done and the growth that we've experienced, you know, WP Engine is investing more than ever in our platform development in 2021. And, you know, I guess in particular, in the short term, we're especially excited about the growth of headless uh, CMS and also e-commerce markets. Uh, so we're going to be look to be solving for more of our customers' problems in those areas specifically. There's a lot in there and uh, a lot for us to think about. I really see, you know, WP Engine is, it's one of the highest regarded WordPress hosting platforms in the world, but there are a few more out there. And uh, to finish us off, let's play a game. We called host or not host, all right? Uh, right. I'll provide a rapid fire list of names and Mark, you have to guess uh, if they're real or they're fake. So as I read each one of these, uh, I'd like you to tell me real or fake. First one, host monkey. True. Yes, real. Security farm hosting. Fake. Correct, you're too good at this. <laughs> Green Pasture Hosting. Real. Fake. Oh. <laughs> Fast Host. Real. Correct. Last one. Go Mummy. Fake. Real. Really? We're able to trick you a few times, but you got most of them right. Mark, it's been a real pleasure. We always love uh, working with WP Engine. XOP and WP Engine are great uh, partners for our customers. And uh, we look forward to doing many more things together this year and beyond. Uh, thank you very much for being on The Tonight Show. And thank you for being a partner of XOP. Likewise. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you. We'll see you next time.